Hi everybody, this is Linda and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a super bowl um, treat. And um, in this bowl already I beat up one egg. I already beat it up because then I'm guaranteed it's mixed. So there's one egg and there's one, this is a pound of ground chuck. You can use anything you want, ground sirloin, ground, just plain ground beef, anything you want. So um, I'm going to try to, I'm going to just kind of get these mixed together. And I chose to use this mixing uh, mixer because it's easier. I'm all about being, you know, it being easier for everybody. So I'm mixing the egg in with the ground beef. In the meantime, I've got my flour. So I'm going to be getting it out. Alright. I'm going to turn it up a bit. Make sure that stuff's mixed. And I think it is. All right, now everything else just gets dumped in. This is uh, Two tablespoons of flour. Doesn't matter if it's self rising or, or uh, plain flour, it just doesn't matter. Now, two tablespoons of milk. I didn't have any milk, so I had to make some out of instant dry milk. But it'll work just the same. Two tablespoons of milk. <coughs> I'm going to guess at this because I don't want to get out, get out anything else. This is a quarter of a cup. Let's see if I can get this in here. Yeah, of those uh, French fried onions. Quarter of a cup. Crush them up a bit. I don't know. I kind of think that's enough. Put the lid back on that. Um... Boy, am I unorganized. I thought I had everything out, but I realized that I do not. So hang on just a minute here. I'm about there. All right, the next thing going in, I'm going to lift this up a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a half a pound of bacon that, um, you know, I just baked off in the oven. You know how to do it, put it on a sheet pan and turn the oven up to 400 and let it bake about 15 or 20 minutes. Some people pour the grease off as it cooks. I don't. I pour all the grease off 
when it's done. Alright. This is supposed to be... Well, I thought it was crispier than this, but it's not as crispy as I like it. So I'm going to keep tearing it up here before I throw it in there and I'll have to wash my hands again. And you know, if it's not in little bitty pieces, it's just something you're going to bite into anyway. So, you know, leave them a little larger if that's the way you want it. If you want them small, then crush them up small. Make sure that you bake them till they're crisp, though. So, all right, here we go. I think this is... small enough to suit me. Alright, this is actually, it doesn't look like it, but it is. It's a half a pound. Half a pound of um, bacon cooked. Let me wash my hands. <laughs> This next ingredient you may turn your nose up at. I hope I can get this jar open, but <coughs> excuse me. I probably ought to measure this, but I'm not. It's dill pickle juice. And I, I think I probably put a quarter of a cup in there. There we go. Quarter of a cup of dill pickle juice. Now, I'm going to mix this up. See how much easier it is in here? Just a whole lot easier if you use your mixer. All right, now um, preheat your oven. Make sure you get it good and preheated. To um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I think it's 375. Yeah. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And also, um, cube up some cheese, which I'll just move the mixer. Let me move the mixer. You know, you can buy cheese already cubed. I just uh, didn't want one of those great big bags, so I cubed it myself. So, we're going to... Got a baking sheet somewhere. Well, actually, I know where it is. Got a baking sheet. Lay it right here. And I'm going to uh, form meatballs out of this meat. Form little meatballs like that. And then you're going to push one of these cheese things in the middle and cover it up. Cover it up like that. I'll do one more for y'all. I, You know, I don't really even know how much meat I'm grabbing. I'm just 
grabbing meat enough to cover the the uh, cube of cheese. So you can see about that much. I, looks like a tablespoon and a half, maybe two tablespoons. Roll it to make a ball. Grab your cheese. Push it down in the center. And then just cover it with the rest of the um, meat mixture that you've made. All right, that's two. Now I'm going to finish the rest of these and um, then I'll bring you back. Oh goodness. Let's see, let me wipe my hands off. I'll bring you back when I get through and I'll show you the tray before I put it in the oven. All right guys, I'm through rolling my meatballs. I got 18 out of that pound of ground beef and you can see by my hand about how big they are. You can't really can't make them much smaller unless you make the cubes smaller because you've got to have enough meat to cover them. All right, I'm going to put them in the oven. 375 degrees, preheated real good. And um, it should take between 20 and 25 minutes, but I'll let you know how long mine take. All right, it took my meatballs exactly 20 minutes to bake. If you make yours larger, they'll take longer. If you make them smaller, they may not take as long. And every oven's different, so at 375, you know, it could be take longer or shorter amount of time. This is the way they look. So the more fat that you have in your meat, the more that's going to be on your baking sheet. And I fixed Sam a little plate of them right here. And I put a little bit of ketchup and a little bit of mustard on there because that's the way most people eat cheeseburgers. And these are bacon cheeseburger meatballs. So here you go, Sam. Thank you. Tell us what you think. <coughs> I surely will. Mmm, goodness. Tastes just like a bacon cheeseburger without the bread. Be perfect for, you know, watching the ball game, Super Bowl this weekend. That's good ground chuck, too. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's, you know, the onions, the uh, meat, the cheese, uh, and of course, dipping in a little ketchup must taste exactly like a cheese bacon cheeseburger without the bread. <clears throat> Well, there's also dill pickle juice in there. I thought I tasted a little pickle, but I don't. It doesn't spoil it, does it? No. It tastes just like a bacon cheeseburger without the bread. All right, guys, so don't be afraid to put that pickle juice in there. But I ate one, and I think it needs more of those crushed up... Um, French fried onions, and I think it needs more bacon. I don't know. But that's just my opinion. But the meat is nice and juicy and tender, isn't it, Sam? It sure is, yeah. All it, right. It's fine. It'd be perfect watching the Super Bowl this weekend. It would, wouldn't it? There you go, guys. Bacon cheeseburger meatballs. And they're so easy and great as a, you know, a Super Bowl, Bowl treat. If you have quite a few people over, double it. Thank you for coming in today and spending part of your day with me. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, take care and God bless. Very good.